So, uh, what are we supposed to do now? Oh. Mamma mia, what's wrong? You don't look so good. No, it's not that. It's father. It hurts. No, why are you doing that? I heard it too. Ah, you look like just as horrible, are we? You heard something. What do you hear? I'm fine, but... You must hurry. That's right. There's no time. Even if you say that, shouldn't you rest for a bit? You look like you're hurting all over. Yes, it hurts. I never experienced anything like this before. But I must go. Father must be suffering far more than I. Please, Aoi and Paimon, please take me there to the place where we gathered high purity ores earlier. Okay, let's go. We should be shortcut when we can take it. Actually. Wait, what's wrong? Why can't we continue on? Strange. It seems like something's blocking the way. Uh oh, what do we do? The cowan's over there. That's right, swim over there because father's blood is already. Blood? Mamiya, are you okay? What blood? We cannot delay any further. Let's swim from over there. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, what? <laughs> this is pretty cool. Um, what? Oh, what are we going? What? We we were from above. Oh, it's a lactor. Okay. Jeez. Whoa. Whoa, what happened to that strange giant stone all of a sudden? And look at that color. Doesn't it basically look like a heart? That's right. This is the original form of the heart. Wait, that's you? Jacob? What are you doing? Gathering paint, as you can see. Ha, paint. What an interesting way to describe this filth. To think that anyone would set upon this canvas. What? Still, your arrival here was quite unexpected. I could have sworn I sealed all the entrances. Did I slip up somewhere? You, you're a member of the Abyss Order, aren't you? Ah, uh, where's there smoke, there's fire. And where there's evil, there's you guys, huh? The Abyss Order? Oh, please, do not alarm me with those benighted primitive they are no different from those oppressors the power they seek is but a tool that only few can use what we search for is true equality and liberation of the will just as my friend said those who lack weaknesses of consciousness shall not be subdued either by gods or death stop prattling you aren't with the abyss order how do you explain the magic you used earlier I merely used the power of the abyss to resolve the crystallized process, that's all. In any case, I did not expect it. I had not expected to see his heart withered in such an extent after a mere few hundred years. As such, it had to be restarted for me to obtain sufficient blood. Sufficient? Yes, but an elegant method of doing it, you might think. Alas, there's no other way. I too initially believed that I could have obtained enough congly blood from Miss Mamir to peaceful means. This would have allowed the plan to go through without alerting the merciless hunters. Uh, alas, 
that backfired too bad I suppose wait didn't you people say you wanted to paint what's this conceived congeal congeal blood you're blabbering about explain huh. wait a moment <laughs> This is more interesting than I thought. So you didn't don't actually know what those pain really are or the power they contain. I see, I see. It seems I've spoken too much. How terribly unexpected. Still, I fail to understand. Why would you want to get close to Miss Mamir if you don't understand the value of those paint? Hm. Don't bring us down to the level of sneaky scheme schemers like yourself. Besides, you summoned the monsters earlier, didn't you? What do you do for that? Do that for? Why did you have to attack the other moon signs? Attack them? I hardly have the time for such frivolous pursuit. Well, in theory, the arrays I have activated in those ruins to reverse the crystallization, crystallization would indeed have temporarily opened the way to the realm of the beast. I suppose that's how the monsters you mentioned were attracted here like flies to the flattering, festering meat of the road. As for the Mlusine, well, an unrelated matter I fear. Let's not discuss them. You. Compared to that, Miss Aoi, do indulge my curiosity. What do you think of the origin of sight here? Now that you have seen them, look at your feet. Blood flowing like a river, fertilizing like the very dust of the earth with their filthy fat. If I told you that greater disaster then that will come one day, how will you react? Huh? What are you talking about? Blood? Fat? Hasn't this place only turned just a little bit red? Negative. The blood has always risen, Miss Aoi's ankles. The local contamination index is now over 10 times the human beauty body can endure. I recommend that all present, all present leave this area for your own safety and to prevent the following allergies, confusion, white matter, dis distortion, mental deterioration and I see, that's how far it's gone, hmm? How sad, but fear not, I will liberate you. The moment foretold but the word formula is coming, there's little time left. You just gonna stand there, buddy? What the hell? Whoop. I need get this. Oh, they are. Let's go. What? Fascinating. I thought that you were only able to reach this place purely through luck, but it appears as if that was not at all. Indulge my curiosity, Miss Aoi. Could you tell me who you are exactly? That's none of your concern. Not going to answer, hmm? Well, that's fine. It was just a mere mild curiosity of mine after all. In any case, I haven't any further time to waste here. The appointment time is coming, and I have enough blood to use. Any further delay may invite unwanted attention. We're not gonna let you get away. What time are you talking about? And that is none of your concern. It has nothing to do with you after all, anyway. Oh, how we look at what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? You despicable. What have you done to Aoi? I wouldn't use that word. This is a matter of utility, not morality. You are indeed very strong, Miss Aoi, but I wouldn't say the same for the others. Where did the monsters come from this time? Apologies, Jacob Ignor In Ingo. But I fear I cannot let you do this. Miss Mimir, Miss Paimon, get behind me. My duty is to defend. All attempts to harm you will not succeed. Uh, arrogance, you piece of soulless crap. You were unable to defend Mary, Mary Ann. What? All you will do today is confront their incompetence once more. Wait a minute, Mary Ann? What's that dog? This is a dog? What? Mary Ann? And you should survive this mad battle? The giant 
the giant revived beast will crush and digest you all. Well then, farewell. Ah, they're coming this way. There we end. Seymour! No! Let me out. Let me out. Let me out! Oh shit, my controller. Oh shit, my father? That thing? Uh... Oh! Thanks! That was quick. Phew! Guess we are already s we're finally safe, huh? Still, what was this... That round thing? It was helping us? Mimiu, are you okay? Yes, father. Huh? Uh, here? Oh, Paimon thought you were talking to us. It's the sound again. I understand. Since this is your will, it will be done. Aoi, Paimon, can you both strike a pose? I'm going to start drawing. Ah, uh, wait a moment. Paimon hasn't mentally prepared herself or figured out what pose to strike. Actually, wait, why are we doing this here and now? Uh, I don't know how to explain this, but I think Seymour can help. Logic, module, calculating, attempting to rationalize reason for question without insufficient data cannot answer. My logic module concludes that your decision is far from logical, Miss Mamiel. Seriously, Seymour, what are you doing? And also, why do you push the problem to him, Mamiel? My primary design is to now sorting data fragments. Uh, Seymour, you okay? Oh boy, he looks like he's hanged. Sorry, Paimon, but there's no more time to explain. If we don't hurry, it's too late. Well, sure, okay. This doesn't feel quite right, but Paimon trusts you. I have faith in doing it too, I know you won't do anything to harm us on purpose. Ah, uh, but Paimon hasn't decided what pose to strike. Any thoughts? Strike a all pose or the plan? It's like a confident pose. Yep, yep. That's the kind of confidence you should have in a situation like this. Oh, what do you think? Will holding this pose do? Yep, look great. Now then, leave the rest to me. Mamiya takes a deep breath, almost as if encouraging herself. And with a few wags of her short little tails, she gets to work without another word. Her expression and the looks she gives you. I was resolute and earnest, solemn, some might even say. Not long after, her work is done. It's done. Wow, that was super quick. Well, are we? Let's have a look, shall we? Whoa. Nice to meet you. Hi. Apologies, I, I bought you before, but I haven't had a chance to say hello. My trouble you helping me clear out the poison? Oh, you please activate the prism and clear them out. Okay. How come that one I can read? What? Usually, it's like so freaking slow. Hey, no, I mean so freaking fast. Hiya! Hiya! That works. Uh, hiya! Nope. Hiya! Nope. Mel, that go. Hiya! 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 Go. Uh. One more. How do I hack? Am I supposed to hit that one? This sucks. Ah, tick, tick care of that. Thanks, Aoi. May I invite you up here? I still have much to say to you. Okay. Who am I speaking to? Ah, you're finally here. I always wanted to meet you and talk to you, Aoi. You know me? Yes, I've been watching you all this time, or should I say, sensing you. I felt your presence 
pheasants ever since that child of mine who loves art brought you inside my hot body. It was like a warm line was running to and fro within my organs and blood vessel. Elena's? Yes, that's my name. Beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Why do you appear, appear in the form of Melisine? Why? Well, I find that form very beautiful. Don't you think so too? I love them very much for they are one and all my lovely children. And in here, I can decide my own appearances. So, of course, I choose to look. I choose the look I love the most. They are your children? That's right. That happened a long, long time ago. Not long after I first experienced death, I think. Many, many people, a spirit of the primordial waters, and many metal ma animals came into my body. I thought that they, like those two other people, were here to explore and gather my blood. I was originally just happy to have people here, but they chose to fight each other in the end instead. But of course, I was dead at that point. I was too weak to do anything beyond watching them in silence and feeling the wounds they left inside my body. In the end, someone triggered an explosion that caused a terrible shockwave. Many people died and those metal animals also died. The survivors left and everything was very quiet once more. A lot of sharp shots pierced my body from the explosion impact, but later, tiny life emerged from those wounds and from my broken flesh. I was so overjoyed, for they were beautiful and intelligent. Also, that was when I realized that I could do more than destroy. I could bring beautiful new life into this world. So I spoke to them. I told them many things. I taught them how to build a home themselves, that they might grow up well. Then there was happiness and liveliness everywhere. Later, they gradually became unable to hear my voice. That's fine though, just as mothers once said farewell to me. All children must grow up and leave their parents. Only the child who loves painting still speak to me and she even brought me her friends. That's how I came to meet you. I truly am happy in that case. So your father, huh? That's right. Still, you are truly special. That was only when the situation was past salvaging that I realized how my blood was poisoned to humans. But when you came into contact with my blood, not only did you not get poisoned, but instead you slowly become linked to my and my daughter's consciousness, you began to see and sense many things. You are the second person I have met who did not feel my blood. Ah, if only there were more people like you. Who's the other person? Oh, so you don't know each other, but I saw you saying so many things to one another. I refer to that person who made my heart start beating again. Jacob? A long, long time ago, he and someone else came into my body to collect my blood. Absorbing my blood would really raise his spirits. At that time, my children were not yet born, but I felt rather lonely as I lay there. As such, I was very pleased to meet them, and I was very pleased to help them help him out. He must have tried to restart my heart to thank me for helping him outside out using my blood. But I'm afraid I can't accept his kindness as such. I thank you for stopping him and me. Why? Well, if I were to be revived, my organ, my heart would be, my blood would surge and my internal organs would come to life again. What would happen to the children then? They and their beautiful little houses would be crushed and digested. That would be too terrible a tragedy. I might look like this now, but my body is, in truth, very big and frightening. In the beginning, my sibling and I took, life, took leave of our mother and come to play on the surface. But I realized, at last, that the thing I found fun and joyous were terrifying to others. It was too late by then, and I was filled with grief and regret. That is why I asked Mamiya to use my blood to create a painting to give it to you. 
That way, I could get a chance to thank you in person. Thank you, Aoi, for stopping my heart. As long as I live, I will bring grief to others, and I never wish to see that happen again. You're welcome. I mean, I did it to survive too. I did it to stop Jacob as well. I see. Anyway, anyway, this is a rare opportunity. I haven't been this clear, haven't been this clear-minded in a very long time. Why don't we chat about other things? Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Ooh, tell me about your origins. Sure, my mother is the reason I exist. Mother is the most wonderful person in this world. She gave me my name and it is a lovely name. Before I was born, I felt in the cosmic darkness. It was cold there and lonely. I wish I was so sad then I would often cry. But later, I heard mother's voice. She wished for me to be born into a beautiful world, to give me life, to give me a strong and healthy body that could walk the world, to grant me a beautiful name. She wanted to give me many siblings, wanted me to meet many friends, wanted me to see the beautiful sight beyond the cosmic dark. She did not deceive me. I was very happy. My elder sibling, siblings treated me well, and later, many younger ones came along and I treated them just as my elder sibling treated me. Later, we left the world beneath the earth. I felt the wind brushing against my skin. The warmth of the sun, icy, waters icy and warm. Life is wonderful and it was wonderful that I was able to witness this world. Only later did I discover that I was different from the life form in this world. The things that brought me happiness, the thing that interested me, they were frightening and terrible, ho terribly hurtful to those of this world. Eventually, eventually, I fell here and died. That saddened yet gladdened me. I treasured the life that was given by my mother, but my life would bring everyone such pain, so this was a better. Later, just as my mother gave me life, I gave my children life and they may walk upon this world. That makes me very proud and very happy. About Jacob. That person from before? I fear I know little about him. He's not like you. Even after drinking my blood, he cannot speak to me as you do. In the beginning, he came with someone else to search for the blood within my body at that time. I could feel that they were very different. There is something within him, a bit of a dark co cosmic power. Cosmos part, uh, and uh, I thought so my blood would do him good, wonderful. Later, he would come often to collect my blood, all the way till there was a great battle involving many people here, him included. He didn't come back again after that. To be honest, I was worried that he might have died. Imagine how happy I was to see him return alive and well. And so tall and strong. Ah well, I saw that you were trapped and thought, if this goes on, I will be revived, and I would, uh, and you will die. My strength began to return, so I thought, why don't I use one of my cells to attack the thing trapping you? That way, you'll be able to move. That was one of your cells. That's right. They can help. To drive harmful things away from my body and protect my children. However, they aren't as smart as my children, so they will attack you too. Sorry about that. Still, so, I'm glad to have help out. Well, I need to go. That's true. Well, I'm almost out of time too. There's a lot of things that I would love to talk to you about, but the life I received this time is almost spent. Could you do me a favor though, Aoi? What is it? Could you tell me what I want what to say? How about this? Then, your paintings are very beautiful. I love you and I'm so very proud of you. And right, and please get along with your sisters. They love you very much as well. Thank you a bunch, Aoi. I've got it. 
All right then. Thank you. Honestly, it was a great meeting you. Someday, I hope that I will be able to traverse the world without fear of causing harm or death to others. When the time comes, I'm, I'll be sure to show you what I really look like. Hey, Aoi, Aoi, are you okay? You've been staring at that painting for this whole time. Seriously, you were just like Seymour. He just said he would be searching for data, and since then, he's just not moved at all. The paintings are very beautiful. And lo I love you, and I'm very proud of you. Huh? Aoi, you? I? You? Wait a minute, where did it all come from? Are you okay? My eyes are a little dry from all that staring. I'm fine, don't worry. Someone else, someone asked me to pass their words to you, my man. I see, thank you. Please, get along with your sisters. They love you very much as well. I, come on, I always gotten along with, well with everyone, seriously. But since father said so, I got it. Thank you, Aoi. Eh? My mom didn't notice this before, but when did that thing over there turn back to stone? The shaking from before seemed to have stopped too. Wait, were you in such a hurry for to paint us? Paint for us because Wait, Paimon got it. People call really good painting absorbing, don't they? So you painted that in order to absorb Aoi, right? Mm, no, that doesn't make sense. What happened really? I will explain it in detail later. The problem here seems to have been resolved at least. We are safe on the us and the Malazine. Um, alright then. But you better explain later. Ah, yes. Aoi, Paimon, what do you think of this painting? Well, please feel to critique it. I, don't, I didn't have much time and I wasn't at my best, so I'm not very confident about it. It feels really... It feels like an excuse. I gotta stop doing that. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's even cooler than a real Paimon. I absolutely love it. It's what you really like. Paimon can't understand it at all. That's wonderful. Paimon doesn't know what to say about your art either. Then he looks amazing, huh? Is this what they call artistic baptism of fire? Well, I'm glad you like it either way. As long as you do, I'm happy. I'm not a very good speaker unlike you, Paimon. But when I'm with you, I'm very happy. That's why I want to give you something that makes you happy too. Preliminary memory fragment sorting is complete. Oh, you're back. See more. May I answer your previous question? Unanswerable question. Wait, what? Whatever. Previously unanswerable? Which one were those? The one about my master, Miss Paimon asked. As well as my affirmation purpose. I am prototype AC 4ACV07, designed by <coughs> to accompany and protect my master, Mary Ann. Mary Ann? That Jacob guy mentioned him his name as well, didn't he? Affirmative. Miss Marianne was my master, and my prime discreet directive was to accompany her on Carabao behalf and ensure she would smile happily. I have not been able to fulfill my duty for math work, clockwork cycle due to the lack of relay modules. In truth, I cannot ascertain Miss Marianne's present location either. This should never happen. My logic unit requires immediate repairs. As such, I do not, if you do not mind, allow me to depart for now. My standard deduction module has already calculated its most likely location where I might collect the information. I must go there. Yeah? Wait, Seymour, are you leaving? Affirmative. Thank, thank you for your care thus far, Miss Mermel. I have duty that I must fulfill. Then, then I will come too. Negative. Deduce danger level high. For your safety, I must refuse your proposal, Miss Mary, my mayor. But I will promise to return and express formal gratitude to you once I find my master. 
unfortunately some of my memory remain damaged so i do not present presently know where the oh a nazarick order that i must reach is precisely as such my sister my search will be inevitable take a great deal of time for that you have my apologies in advance i see i understand there's something you must do and so you have to leave but you will come back to find me won't you affirmative all right then be careful seymour you have to come back all right my token the symbol of my life is with you so don't go breaking down some place where i can't find you you have my word, Miss Mermaid. I will fulfill my mission. I return to your spatial coordinates. Okay, got it, got it. Anyway, I suddenly about got a bout of inspiration. So I am going to go paint now. Don't forget to come back and see me when you're finished your work, okay? You have a deal. We will take off Seymour for you for now. Alright, I understand. Aoi, Paimon, Seymour. Seymour, you all stay safe, alright? I will make my move first. Oh, yeah. So, um, where are we going exactly? Seymour mentioned this place called Nazareth Ordo, right? I think I know where to find the place. Hmm? Paimon thinks we have already been there. The way is pretty mysterious though. I might wonder if you're able to get there. But let's just go anyway. Once everything is settled, we'll bring you back to see Mamiya. Cool. Yo, that is. I want to see that. What the hell? It is bubble. Should be here somewhere. Hmm. What the fuck? <gasps> Yo, that looks cool. Anyway, I think I know where it is because I have this. Yeah, I will come there. Hold up. Okay, we're here. Whoa! Who am I talking to? Whoa, what is this place? I want dizzy from that whole getting stuck stuck into a book thing. I remember this place. I know it. This is Nazwick Aldo. It sure does feel like we've been transported for, to all sort of strange place under weird circumstances and after meeting Ann, huh? Sorry, Paimon. Oh, it's fine. Paimon is not blaming you. She just thinks uh, that Fontaine's really is a magical place. Still, this is Nazwick Aldo. Sounds like an organization the people from the kingdom would set up in a different country. The method of the entry is pretty interesting too, huh? It was just like that picture book in the Anapausis. We read and read, and then we ended up somewhere else. That makes this place something like a secret base, doesn't it? We don't even know where it is really, either. Are you feeling more calm now, Anne? Yes, much better. Thank you, Night Aoi. Or should I drop the title? It was all fake after all. Don't say that, An. But, on the contrary, your story only has begun. On the contrary, your our story has only just begun. Aoi's right, you know. We still got a whole bunch of adventures waiting up ahead of us. Ahem, how shall we... Proceed in peace of mind without reliable night at hand. Oh, lovely maiden. You're getting tired, Paimon. Hmm. 
Come on, Paimon was just trying to encourage Ahn. <laughs> You're quite the night yourself, Paimon. You're positive and you always got a good heart. It makes me happy, truly. Oh come on, why are you getting so serious all of a sudden? You're just less powerful than night, Aoi, that's all. Hmm, everyone got that got things they're good at. I was good at got a good brain and sword arm and I'm on Paimon a powerful eater has powerfully white hair. It's a powerful giver of nicknames. You are really impressive, Paimon. See? <laughs> You have turned up, turned un up already. Yes, you truly are impressive, Paimon. You too. And here Paimon thought that you would try to tease her or something. You're weird. Yep, both of you. Hmm. But that aside, didn't you say before this is Nazareth Ordo has deep links with the past, and That's why we came here in the first place. Yes, however, my head is still a complete mess. That's true, hmm? Paimon knows, let's put what out we have discarded together real quick when we were exploring the Anaposis. Oh boy, Paimon's head is a mess too. Any ideas? Mm, let's discuss Ahn, um, let's discuss the Nazareth Ordo. Ahn. Um. Right, Paimon's been thinking about that too. Marianne? said that you were a birth of the beautiful accident. What does that mean? I think it might be simply that my birth was a coincidence, just as she said. I am someone she dreamed of, the form she took in a dream. The thing we experienced together were also part of the tale of in the dream. If it had never been for you, that dream might have never ended. Or perhaps it might have en ended, and I might have disappeared with the lively happy ever after. I can't be sure. That's true. Not that Paimon gets it. This means that Mary Ann is also an oceanate. Eh? And Anne was created for Mary Ann. Eh eh? That's why I believe as well. But if that's the case, the things I remember during our journey should have been her memories also I think. The knowledge and experience cannot exceed that of the main body. But when you meet her, you also became your own entity. You got a main body to restrict and control you. So become the master of your own fate. Her last words to me. Oh, okay. Paimon gets it now. So that means that Petit Chao, Al, and our others are creation just like you, alright? I believe that's to be the case, yes. In that case, who was me, Marianne, really? This is a name very familiar to me, but I cannot recall why. It's like some part of my body has been frozen. Any other thoughts? The Nazareth Ordo. Alright. I have now I now have a lot of thoughts on the matter, memories and emotions. When those two, two children brought me here, it was a lovely place. Everything was new and shiny, just as before. They were vibrant and exciting. Like the sunlight shining in on the water, they told me that this was our new home and that they brought us many new friends. That was everything could have could be like they were before. But later they changed, something stopped being the same and the people here changed too. Though the Nazareth Institute of the Old did not have sunlight, it was very warm yet this place grew even colder and then, then, on, no. Oh. I look like she's in pain, Aoi. No need to push yourself. I'm sorry now, Aoi. As for the rest, each time I try to recall it, I go very frightened and very sad. This is the best I can do for now. I can sense that ma many terrible things happen here. I can sense many emotions, rage, terror, but also hope, trust, and admiration. But all of them make me feel s a strange sort of pain. Like there's all sorts of shards or impurities embedded in my body. I don't want to. I can't. Alright, alright. Let's leave that aside first. There's no need to force it. The more you try to remember, the more you try to force yourself to remember, the less you'll be able to remember. About Princess Lyris. 
I suspect that she was only ever a character in the story. In that tale, we needed to save her and defeat her fell dragon Nessus. That was my original purpose. All stories must have their origin stories. Wait, what? <laughs> <coughs> Speaking of that, and we have heard you mention this place called the Nazareth Institute before. So if we go to if always logic, Nazareth Kingdom and the adventure team might have PRs have their story origin in the institute and the order, right? That's right. That is possible. Uh, I feel it feels like we got our hand on some new clues, but then again not. Actually, I recall something else too. I've seen terrifying sight. The primordial waters, the amniotic fluids of the world, and its placenta, devoured to the last, the world fell into utter darkness. Never again would the cool spring water flow. I saw that once, or perhaps I saw that in the future. Wait a second. Which are you talking about? The past or the future? I don't know. Sorry. And thank you, Naoi Paimon. Eh, come on, it's fine. We said we're gonna help you. No, truly, I am happy that the two of you are the first two fans I met since I became me. For that, you have my thanks. Pleased to have met you too, An. Gah, why are you two so being, two being, or two of you being so formal? Isn't becoming a fan something that just, you know, happens when you call out, call out? called out to us and asked for our help on that was the moment Paimon thought that's right you're our friend and we gotta help you thank you so much Paimon don't be like that on if you really want to thank us then keep your chin up and keep those spirits high yes yes you're exactly right Paimon besides I have your help I shouldn't waste it by standing still I must recall more and tell you all about it not that you have to push yourself too hard to recall the past. It's fine. Just let Marianne dream, and dream of the past tale, and the tale gave birth to me. I will also rest. In dreams, I might be able to recall more things. Perhaps there might be lovelier things here. There too. If I do recall some, you'll be the first to know, Night Owl Paimon. Got it. Alright. Good night, there, Aunt. Indeed. Good night. Oh, this dude gesture. So this is Nazarick Ordo. Recording the location data regarding it have been recorded in my storage unit. We have been here before. The Mary Ann you're looking for is probably not here. We might still find some clues about it that we didn't before. Did you remember anything useful upon arriving here, Seymour? Negative. The newly recorded information is pending for the analysis and organization. No effective conclusion possible at the present. Huh. Then uh, are we gonna wait for a long time until? Affirmative. Record space collect collation starting. Total time required unknown. Interactive function will cease temporarily while this is ongoing. Wait, hold on a sec. Roger. Interrupting space collect collation process. What instruction, Miss Paimon and Miss Aoi? Come to think of it, we didn't know a lot about you either, Seymour. All we know that your master isn't my mayor, but is someone named Marianne. Affirmative, Miss Marianne is my master. According to my standard deduction module, the odds of finding clues as to her whereabouts are very high. We know you said that before too, but it felt like we were some more basic question we hadn't answered yet. Seems like it's a good time, right? If you could tell us a bit more of yourself and Marianne, we would like to bet we might be able to better help you. Of course, Miss Kind Miss. So what do we ask? Tell us about yourself. I am prototype 4 ECV07, designed by to accompany and protect my master Marianne. Uh Paimon didn't get a word of that. It's my creator. I am equipped with the most advanced optic memory storage unit, logic unit, and various functional modules from the Fontaine Institute of Natural Philosophy. This was clear as mud, but it sure sounds impressive. The more impressive the equipment, the harder it might be to fix once broken. Well, no 
for regular record space collation can decrease the frequency of such issues effectively so basically before you're done collating things there's some stuff that you can't do can't tell us even if you knew right affirmatives most precisely grabs mm. affirmation regarding mm, can be extracted using mm. this allow me to you keep block of miss marianne daily life and also act as an agent assistant are you seriously are you serious the important bits got cut off what's an agent assistant an agent refers to a member of the malicious phantom who undertakes investigation in this context assistant refers to Seymour prototype 4 acv07 itself so mary ann is a malicious phantom agent affirmative wait if that's who she is wouldn't looking for official record help us where to find her faster what do we need to come here miss mary ann agent well, as an agent, it was not publicized. According, additionally, the case she has investigated has been mm, it is mm, performed at the direction of mm, as such. Mm, uh, Seymour, you're breaking down again, aren't you? No, regular record space collision can decrease the frequency of such issue effectively. Let's just ask a different set of questions, shall we? About Ordo. Can we really find clues about Mary Ann whereabouts here? We've never been here before, right? So, what do you think we will find clues here? My latest record indicates that the last recording before meeting Miss Mamia was those of myself executing a specific process. This process was the capture of the fugitive elements from the Nazwick order. Miss Mary Ann was also executing this process. As a companion and guard, I follow her and come mm, into Elena's. There, we encountered non -mem members of the Nazwick Order, including Jacob Ingo and core member, among, a core member of the Nazwick said no. So he was a member and Mary Ann was pursuing him? Performative. Well, I guess there was really some relation there. Then, uh, we should have captured Jacob and questioned him. Pamela wondered if we'll come back here if we ever meet again. We're gonna have to question him. He doesn't seem like the sort who will simply answer a question if asked. If all else fails, we can just, you know, go good cop, bad cop on him. There's gotta be some way or else we're stuck waiting for Seymour to recall stuff. You mean when I complete my record space collation, Miss Paimon? Those things are basically the same. Tell me about your latest record. I feel better against the members of the order broke out with unit Alanis. My storage unit encountered a terror during, due to massive trauma. They must follow the order's plan to the end. Jacob Ingo must be stopped. Due to, <laughs> to Miss Marian. You best take a break. Your words are most considerate. Seems like we're gonna have to wait for you to do that collation thing, Seymour. But whatever the case, Jacob is trying to do something bad inside Linus while you and Mary Ann were trying to stop him, right? Affirmative. Your summary is oversimplistic, perhaps, but it's basically the truth, Miss Paimon. If only we have this information, finding Mary Ann might be somewhat difficult. Doesn't seem like we got any other options though. Waiting for you to do that record collation of yours, Seymour. Affirmative. My collection indicates that this approach is the highest success rate. But it will take a long time, won't it? If you wish, I can estimate the amount of time required. Processing time required. Unknown. Yeah. No need to this estimation stuff then. Well, Paimon done asking question now. But boy. She still has some for you, Aoi. You promised to explain yourself, didn't you? I didn't stash any stacks next away without your knowledge. It wasn't a good time to have a comment. That's not what Paimon says. <laughs> but no one, there's no one to stop us now, and Seymour, well, he's related party, right? Now is no time like the present. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Elena's. Ah, so that thing's, that's the thing that happened? Paimon thought you got sick or something when you started saying all those weird stuff. Well, it's all good to know that you're fine. By the way, Seymour, leaving you here to perform your record regulation wouldn't be a problem, would it? 
on. On your way. Oh, good morning, Paimon. Night owl. Ah, yes, let Paimon introduce you. This is An, an oceanic a friend of ours. An, this is. I know. You're the silly dog, Simon. Huh? I like Revelant data. I do not believe we have the honor of meeting Mr. Oceanic An. I never met you before either. But I was sure of it the moment I saw you. You must be Simon. Uh, what's going on here? This must be no. I don't know either. I feel strange. Regular, no regular record space collection can decrease the frequency of such issues effectively. Anyway, let's bring you up to speed. So Simon is searching for Marianne. Marianne. Ah, oh, no wonder the name felt familiar. The same, the person Simon mentioned is. Looking for is also near memory and regular record space collection can decrease the frequency of such issue effectively. Uh, Paimon had a review, you see, dog. Hmm, according to what Seymour said before, they can't be the same memory and right? The timing. Based on your statement, may I deduce that you have met someone named Mary Ann in the past, or perhaps read or heard of such person from sources apart from myself? But that was a name, that's for sure. But you know what? Let's do it like this. We can call the Marianne in Anna process Marianne 1, and the one you're looking for, Seymour, can be Marianne 2. Negative, the Miss Marianne I'm searching for is a higher sequential priority. To prevent confusion, she should be Marianne 1 instead. Huh? Why don't you look, look at it this way, Seymour? Two is bigger than one. Doesn't that make it pretty good too? Huh? Huh? Your claim sorting data fragments. I think you broke him, Paimon. Hehe, <laughs> silly dog. Oh, Paimon doesn't think you have any mean so any mean bones in you, Aunt. But you sure do. Uh, I don't know why, but I suddenly felt compelled to do that. Primarily, data fragment sorting complete for following. The following reasons, 15 reasons why, Ocean it and I assess that your perspective is illogical. Firstly, alright, oh, alright, that stuff doesn't matter. Come on, good doggy, sit. Understood. Wow. <laughs> if you sit, you'll be able to improve the photo taking stability, right? Yes. Do you need to take photos, Ocean it and I am equipped with the most advanced optic. From the Fontaine Institute of Natural Philosophy, I can. Oh, there's no need, but thank you. Understood. Wow, Seymour is getting played left and right over here. You wanna go back to Anna Posses, Seymour? Yeah, that way, you can meet Mary Ann or see if she's the one you're looking for or not. What you say makes sense, Paimon. Affirmative, a reasonable suggestion. Well then, let's get going. Actually, Nai, Aoi, and Paimon, I don't think we'll need to trouble you this time. I can show Seymour the way. Are you sure you'll be fine? Yes, I know Seymour very reliable. That's right, let's meet up here later, shall we? Hmm? Huh? A strange con stuff. Another one? Well, looks like this is the end. I was kinda expecting a more like proper end to the story, but apparently not. So I'm gonna see if I have like, reputation too, to be honest. I haven't started on Fontaine. So let's see. Shall we? Hey man, can you can you give me like a two? No. Wow, that is stingy as fuck. Really? Damn. Like, what's my stat here? Fifty-seven. That's not bad actually. That's a huge upgrade. Well, this is the end, I guess. See you next time. Bye.